Today, so I need someone to count all of the girls first. All right, um, go ahead and count all of the girls, including yourself. One, two, three. Three, good. Okay, so for girls, we have three. All right, what, sh what size should come after three? If we want to know how many boys and girls we have all together. Our side, I mean, excuse me, our problem should go three plus. plus. Good job. All right. How many boys do we have? All of our boys, including yourself. One, one, two, three, four. Five. Good. We come down, look, friends, around, and put on a hat. All right, does anybody remember what this sign is? Yeah. Equal. Equal, so let's read our problem together. Are we ready? Go. Three, Three plus five, five equals. equals. So Miss Paige is gonna draw all of our pretty girls and all of our handsome boys. I, I think that Shh. Friend, do not answer. We're gonna solve it all together. All right, let's count how many boys and girls we have all together. So these are our boys. All right, let's count together. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So three plus five equals eight. Eight. You make an S and close the gate. Ooh. Miss Paige made a silly eight. Let me try that again. <laughs> there we go. Three plus five equals eight. We are gonna do some egg, Easter egg edition, okay? So each of you have a each of you have an addition problem. You're gonna use the stickers to solve your problem, okay? So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the number that equals to your problem, then you're gonna write it, okay? Alright, so let's try it. So let's count out three. Okay, so you go one. Okay. Let's look, let's see what he does. Two. Uh uh, over here. Okay. Put it right here. Three. All right. Now, what's this number? Can you count out two stickers, please? Go ahead, And when someone tells the other person not to call the One. Wait, look, look what he's doing. Two. All right. So, three plus two. Now, how many stickers do you have all together? Count. Mm -hmm. Five. So, you're going to find the number five in this pile here. Where's number five? Can anyone help him find number five? All right. So, you're going to take it, take a pencil, and then you're going to write five right here. Three plus two equals. Do it again. Try it. You take the word bird and the word house. Put them together and get bird house. 
birdhouse. Thank you. You take the word rain and the word bow, put them together and get rainbow. Wait till I signal for you to answer, okay? You take the word butter and the word fly, put them together and get butterfly. Good. You take the word tooth and the word brush, put them together and get toothbrush. Good. Alright, next one. Yeah. Three. Uh, uh, ant. Yeah. Clap out to the bosom. Ant. Go. Ant. How many syllables? What? What? Red ants bite. Red ants bite. Red ants do bite, yes. My only is that. In the springtime, you'll start to see a lot of ants. So make sure if you see an ant pile, should you stay away from that? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that. Focus. Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Clap it. Go. Nope. Clap it again. Go. How many syllables? Three. Three. What? Three women. I don't know. All right, y'all. So it's been a couple of days. So today is Thursday, and I'm just gonna show you guys what we've been doing throughout the week. Um, the kids are outside right now, so we're talking about spring. So I'm gonna show you guys what we've been doing. This week we've been talking about compound words. And then for phonological awareness, um, we did a poem and they had to help me figure out what the rhyming words were. They did a pretty good job with that. We've also been talking about the plant life cycle. Um, for one small group we did today, we read the story Flowers and I made them create a model and label them. And then we had some extra time, so I just made them write a word on their picture. All right, y'all, so it is the end of the day. I stopped at Chick-fil-A. I'm in the parking lot eating my meal while they're back there chilling. I need to go get Caden. I need to stop and go get some gas first. My gas light just came on. But overall, today was pretty good. I am extremely exhausted, and spring break cannot come fast enough. Seriously. Say the... the. Frog, Frog. Has, has red, red. and, and black, black eyes. eyes. What should I put at the end of my sentence to let me know it's finished? What did I just say? It's a period. You say period? Period. Remember that. Put a period, okay? The, the frog, frog has, has how many legs? Four. Four legs. legs. All right, period. All right, let's come up with one more. Frog, frog jumps. Okay. All right, y'all. It is Friday, so happy Friday. So yesterday, um, we were supposed to go straight home, but my son decided last minute when I picked him up, he wanted to go to his multicultural night. He really just wanted to go to hang out with his friends, which was fine. But I'm glad I kind of went because I got to eat a bunch of food from the different, um, you know, different countries. Like I tried some Haitian, Nigerian, uh, Peruvian food, and wound up getting full there. So great two for one um but as you just saw i just did a quick like a large group um small group lesson usually on fridays i like to keep it very light only just because we do work hard throughout the week and fridays we just like to keep it calm and and chill and then we also did i didn't record it but we also did like label the sound so i drew a picture and i had just different items like butterfly clouds rain worm um house and they had to label the picture with the correct letter that made that sound if that made sense so for example i wrote on a sticky note c 
it makes the k sound okay which picture makes the k sound cloud so we did that and I paired them up into groups um, groups of two so that was a quick little you know five minute lesson and then we went outside because it the forecast said it was supposed to rain and I wasn't sure about what time so I took them out just a little earlier just in case but anyway I'm on break right now I'm getting some McDonald's um, I'm probably gonna catch up with you guys again once I get off of work because like I said we're doing nap and there's nothing interesting I got to work on lesson plans for next week anyway and do some WSO work so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that when I get back but I do have to go shopping because like I mentioned earlier in this vlog I do have a teacher job fair to go to tomorrow and I don't have any like business professional clothes which I don't know why but it's been a little minute since I had to go on any interviews so the clothes I probably do have probably don't even fit but I'm gonna catch up with you guys again once I get off work Saturday, so I am on my way to job here like I mentioned earlier so I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quick of my folder I already applied online so they should have my resume and everything online but I just did another copy of it my ticket my provisional license and like two uh, lesson plan samples just in case you know you never know but yeah I didn't eat this morning so I'll just eat afterwards but I want to try to get there right at 9 and it's currently 8 10 right now and I have to go to the Brave Stadium for this so that concludes the job fair I'm about to go get something to eat because I didn't get a chance to eat this morning but overall I think it went pretty well I talked to a few schools got a couple cards so I'm gonna make sure I follow up with them um, I'm assuming that they're gonna start calling people for one-on-one -on -one interviews uh, as the school year kind of comes to a close and they really see what vacancies they'll have available some schools that I even talked to they didn't even know what positions would be available because I guess they haven't you know spoken with current employees there so I'll continue to just apply for more follow up with the ones that I did talk to and things like that so fingers crossed I always get nervous when I'm doing like an interview, especially this one, because it's so just quick paced, it's like, tell me about yourself, da -da -da -da, you know, and then move on to the next one. So we'll see. But I am going to close out the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the week with me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Again, subscribe to my channel if you have not. Let's get to 1K. And I'll see you guys in my next video.